Below Luxury, the channel where I show you what authentic luxury clothing and streetwear looks like. Today, I am going to be showing you a real pair of, oh my god, Balenciaga Rope Derby shoes. They're crazy, they're so cool, you're going to love them. And the reason I'm doing this is that, yeah, everyone knows about the Triple S's and the Speed Trainers, but Balenciaga makes a lot of other cool models of shoe and people may be wondering about those. So I wanna show them off and show you what the real thing looks like. So let's get into it. Oh, and hey, before I forget, subscribe to my channel. If you're into this video, you'll probably be into a bunch of my other ones. So get into it. So first, let's take a look at the box. And anyone who's handled Balenciaga shoes before knows that these boxes can be formidable. And this one is no exception, measuring in at 17 inches by 14 inches. You can see the box does have quite a bit of texture to it. So it is a gray box, but then it's got all these crisscrossing sort of messy lines going all over the place. And centered in there, it does have that Balenciaga logo, very highly embossed in glossy black, as you can see. And of course, take a look at that font, take a look at that spacing, because they always use the same font and spacing. If you ever see anything different on any of their recent shoes or clothes or anything, that is something to worry about. There's nothing on either of the long sides. One of these short sides is also empty, as is the bottom. But it's the other short side that has all of the good stuff. So in the bottom right, you may get sort of retailer stickers. I'm guessing where this one's from. So. You can get some information from that though, such as a model number perhaps. Make sure that the colorways and everything match what they should be, the size, etc. And then you also get a gray piece of cardstock, which is coming over the lip of the inside of the box. And on the left, you get this sticker, all in bold, all in caps, Balenciaga, model number, color, in this case, vert or green, size 43 European, and a price. Then you also get this longer rectangular classic Balenciaga shoebox sticker, right? So under there you'd have various information and make sure that that matches. Actually, let's get this off of here so we can show you that. So up in the top you've got that 561015, which matches what you've got on this other sticker. Under that, Scarpa Pele S. Gom. And usually that's referring to the different types of fabrication used here. I can't translate everything, but I'm guessing it's different types of leather and fabric and uh, rubber and such. But take a look at that S dot gum. There is no space uh, on either side of that dot. It is just all one piece S dot gum. And if there are spaces there, that is something to be concerned about. So you've got material, I'm guessing smooth calf, so calf leather. Got that color again, and that size again also matches the other sticker. And then off on the right here, you get your wireframe of the shoe itself. And with these shoes, you will get a dust bag. In this case, it is a gray canvas one, and you've got sort of black tightener ties at either side of that. And you've got that black Balenciaga logo, just regular screen print printed on there, centered in the middle of that. Now let's get into the shoes, right? The best part, the fun part. So of course, the first place your eye goes is the rope, okay? So let's get a closer look at that. So you can see it's almost a camo or animal print rope. So each little piece has a different color. There's black, orange, and yellow in there. And it ties through these little holes that are in the sole, and then they kind of twist through each other, each piece up there and that goes throughout the entire shoe, front to back to sides. Another interesting aspect of the shoe is that it has steel toes. So this, it's super hard to push down compared to over here. You can see it goes in there, right? You can see the leather moving right here, nothing, okay? And you can see where that stops. You've got a bit of a line right there so that it's a steel toe. Make sure yours has that. Of course, take a look at the stitching. Make sure it's all clean and consistent. You're not really gonna see many, if any, uh, stitches that are out of place on these. So you've got reinforced with three stitches over here, and those go all the way to underneath the rubber sole, and then one stitch going up there and underneath the laces and around the heel. And you can see here, there's a bit more leather left over underneath these three stitches than there is over here. And that's because down here, the edge of the leather is left rough, whereas 
over here, they fold it over and round it. And then if we look to the heel counter, it's got a really nice hourglass shape to it with two stitches on each side and then a single stitch going over the top. And again, that is rounded over the top with some extra layering in here, starting there and going around the back of the heel. If we take a look at the sole, there are some nice details here. So you've got kind of horizontal treads going all around the outside, and then you've got these kind of plus signs going through here. So there's five, six, I can't count, on the front side, and then you've got two more in the back there. And then at the center, you've got this debossed Balenciaga logo there. It takes up almost the entirety of the middle of the shoe, and you can see how insanely clean that is. And now if we take a look at the end of the tongue here, right, you can get a bit more detail into how these shoes are created. So it looks like it's two layers of leather here. That top layer is the green, and then underneath it, you've got another layer of black, and that feels very soft. Maybe that specifically is the calf leather. And then on the inside of there, you can see there's that sort of inner heel counter, which is still green. And then it turns black here, where you've got your model number and size printed on in gold. And then if you look at the insert, that does feel like leather here, or perhaps a sort of treated sort of faux leather here, but you've got the Balenciaga logo pressed in there, very clean, fairly small compared to the insert as a whole. And you can see that that is stitched in there with a very tight black stitch that goes all the way around. So that is how you tell the difference between a real and a fake pair of Balenciaga Derby shoes. Take a look at one of these other videos that's on the screen. Subscribe if you like it. Leave a like for this video and I will see you next time.